if you smile after you read the word if you are smiling now as i am prophesying over your life if this is your happiness more than the meat more than the clothing more than the lifestyle more than the car more than the brands more than the costly perfumes if the holy spirit is adding to your happiness my beloved ones the lord god promises you in the verse 18 that you shall be acceptable and approved of men praise the lord my beloved ones today our beautiful most amazing lord god jesus christ has come to bless us with another beautiful prophetic word and the lord god says that you shall serve the lord and receive human approval you will be accepted by the people of the world this thing has been so difficult for you because in anything and everything you tried your best you did your best but you were never approved by people you were never acceptable by men they hated you the people hated you and you were tired you entered the fatigue you became weak but my beloved ones the righteous God has the beautiful word for you to bless you and to assure you that from now if you obey the Lord God you will receive his favor in such a way that you will receive the approval of human being we have Romans 14 chapter 14 verse 18 for he that is in this things serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men so what are these things it is written in 17 for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink but righteousness and peace and the joy in the Holy Ghost if you are filled with the joy of the Holy Ghost if the joy of the Lord is your salvation if you are living for the joy of the Lord if the Lord is your joy if the Holy Spirit is your happiness if reading the Word of God and living by the Word of God is your life if it adds smile to your life if you smile after you read the word if you are smiling now as I am prophesying over your life if this is your happiness more than the meat more than the clothing more than the lifestyle more than the car more than the brands more than the costly perfumes if the Holy Spirit is adding to your happiness my beloved ones the Lord God promises you in the verse 18 that you shall be acceptable and approved of men the niv version says that because anyone who serves christ in this way is pleasing to god and receives human approval hallelujah this doesn't mean that you shall not have materialistic blessings this means that you will surely and definitely be approved by the materialistic things you will be approved by the rules you will be approved by the system you will be approved you will be allowed my beloved ones to serve the lord the lord himself will make all the crooked places straight he himself will send people to serve you and help you this is how anyone and everyone has automatically started helping me started pushing me ahead so that I should be successful in serving the Lord in recording these videos. It's not easy to go on the hilltops, on the top of the mountain, amidst the green, the lush green, in the forest. I am in the middle of the forest. Every morning and every evening you will see the herds of bison, the wildlife here. Where I am standing is the dangerous place. But when the Lord God says that you will go and serve me here, I obey the Lord God. I accepted the challenge. I decided to believe the Lord instead of fearing the wildlife. I was even threatened here but i didn't believe in the threatening of the human mindset rather i received faith rather i decided not to be defeated and casted out i decided not to live in slavery i decided and i chose the righteous way the righteous will live by faith i adapted i accepted i believed and i lived in faith 
I walked in the path of righteousness. I climbed this mountain once again to show it to the devil. I'm not afraid of the wildlife. I'm not afraid of anything else. I'm not afraid of the human being. I live by what the Lord God has spoken to me. The Lord God said, go and record here. I came here. Before that, I prayed. I said, Lord, your promises for me are still alive and I want to obey you. You asked me to come to this place and record the video standing here amidst this hilltop on this tea estate. And when I came here earlier, I was defeated, but I didn't give up. I didn't say that I will not go here again. My beloved ones, I kept saying that, Lord, you have asked me to come here and I will obey. I will obey and I will be happy only after obedience. I will be able to have meals. Since so many days, I was not able to drink tea. I was not happy. I was not able to eat meals. I tried all the dishes, but nothing was giving me the joy. Nothing was giving me happiness because I wanted to serve the Lord where he said, go to this place and serve me. But today is the mighty day because since a couple of days, I am praying and asking the Lord God to bless me with the faith which will fulfill the Lord's will. The faith that you receive is for the fulfillment of the Lord's plan and purpose. According to Jeremiah 29 verse 11, you have been given faith for the godly cause. And if that faith is in you. You are pleasing God. You are pleasing God when Holy Spirit has become your life. You are happy. You are happy to eat food only after you have served the Lord. Only when you have finished doing the Lord's will. But many of you have been fallen asleep in such a way that no matter what happens, you want food. You want to live the lavish lifestyle no matter what, whether you obey the Lord or not, whether you serve the Lord or not, whether you do His will or not, that doesn't matter. What matters to most of those who have fallen asleep is to have the meals, to have the costly clothes, to have the finest makeup, to look beautiful, to do stylish, to do everything that the people of the world do and not serve the Lord. You have been fallen asleep because you don't obey the Lord and you are okay with that. You do, don't serve the Lord the way he has asked you to do and you are okay with that. You do disobey the Lord and still you can eat plenty of food. You eat plenty of food because you live for meat and drink, but not for the sake of obedience, not for the sake of righteousness. After I have recorded a couple of videos here, now I am at peace because I love to serve the Lord where he said, go and serve me here, not because of fear of men. And because of this faith, I got approval. I was approved by the human nature. The people supported me to record here. Even as I am recording the video here, some people are standing around me to give me the protection. They are standing around me as bodyguards to support my work. My beloved ones, this happens only in righteousness. They will come not to beat you. They will come not to cheat you, but to support your godly cause. And the word of God says this happens only in righteousness. When for the Lord's name's sake, you take the faith step. And you are not at peace unless and until you have done the Lord's will. So today, did you do the Lord's will? Did you serve the Lord more than the meat, more than the food, more than the drink, more than the clothing, more than the shelter, more than the bike, more than the car, more than your dreams? Are you dreaming 
of serving the Lord. If you are dreaming of serving the Lord more than anything and everything in this world, more than the tasty food, more than your favorite dishes, more than the cup of tea, more than the sugar, more than what you like, more than what you dislike. If you have kept the Lord's will in first place, if you have kept your ministry and service to the Lord in first place. The word of God will be fulfilled in your life. Your service will be acceptable to God and you shall be accepted and approved by the human beings, the human nature, the mankind. You will be allowed to serve the Lord. My beloved ones, otherwise there will be obstacles, there will be challenges. Don't expect the bouncers to come and support you, to protect you, unless and until you are strongly willing to serve the Lord in unusual places, unusual matters, unusual cause. The unusual cause is that you should first know your calling and be righteous enough. It will be difficult. The calling that you have is not to sit in one room and pray for others. It is that you go to unusual places and serve the Lord in the difficulties. And in such cases, you should treat your service to the Lord more than anything in this world, more than even what people say. If I am recording the video here, there are people around me who might be mocking on me, might be teasing me. But as soon as I came in the acceptance of the living God, the Lord sent people to surround me and to give me protection. Because I need protection in this place. My beloved ones, this happens only when you will to serve the Lord more than your own will. I am not here to have my favorite dishes. Even when I am being provided with that, I said, Lord, nothing pleases me. Nothing gives me happiness and joy unless and until I will do your will and serve you. Only when I serve you, O Lord God, Jesus Christ, only when I preach the gospel of truth, only when I give your message to your beloved people, I will have freedom in having the meals. I will sleep peacefully. I will drink. The food will be tasty. Before recording the video, I was not liking anything. I said, Lord, everything is out of my taste. My taste is only in serving the Lord. When I am doing this, I am acceptable and I am receiving the human approval. So shall it be with you, my beloved ones. First, serve the Lord in righteousness and you will definitely receive the support of the human the support of your neighbors, the support of your driver, the support of your friend, the support of your family members. The family members, they support me. My family members, they go extra miles to support me. If I ask them to help me, they will help me. Why? Because I left everything to serve the Lord. So shall it be with you, my beloved ones. Do not hold on to anything more than the Lord. Hold on to your calling and the Lord God will keep his promises for you. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings. We bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence to our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.